All right, guys, so you got a 1.5 rep uh, in your program in an exercise. You might wanna know what a 1.5 rep is. Um, it's not 1.5 seconds. It's uh, what it really is, is it's a type of tempo that we use. So sometimes we might use a slower lowering or we might use a pause on a rep or something like that to make an exercise more challenging or maybe to emphasize a different part of the movement. Um, when we do a pause, we actually put more um, emphasis on the actual muscles. Whereas when we're kind of just bouncing off the bottom, like we do in a lot of reps, we're actually using a little bit of help from the tendons, which is a totally normal thing and something we can exploit for, for strength as well. But when we do pauses, we're actually putting more emphasis on the muscles, which um, there's a time and place for that as well. So a 1.5 rep is actually one rep that is actually one and a half reps. So 1.5 actually means one and a half, just to just, you know, I don't know why it took me like 45 seconds to say that, but it's a one and a half rep. But I, the reason why I want to do this video is because, um, you know, in terms of maybe like a dumbbell row where I pull back and then go halfway and then pull back again, then go back to the start, which would be the right way. And I'll show you that again. Some people might go halfway, one, pull. So there, there, there's, a, there's a rule of thumb that I want to go over, which is why I'm shooting this video. Um, because for some exercise, it's going to be um, half on the lowering portion. For some of them, it's going to be half on the, the actual pulling part of the exercise or the actual moving part of the exercise. And I'll show you how it differs for um, hip thrusts, a dumbbell row, and then I'll show you push-ups, which is going to be the different one. And the key I want to emphasize, and this is the most important part of the video, the first movement you do in an exercise is always the long part. The second one is always the half. So I'll show you how that applies to a hip thrust right now, and then a dumbbell row, and then a push up. So I'm getting into a hip thrust. Here's my starting position. So the first move is the whole range of motion. The second part is the half. Then I go back to the start. Then I go down, and that's one and a half, that's one and a half reps. If I'm gonna do a dumbbell row, get into a good position, a three-point dumbbell row. The first part is all the way up, second part is half, and then I'm going down to the bottom. So that's one rep, whereas a normal rep would just look like this. So again, that's full part, half part, and then down. So for a push-up, it's gonna be a little bit different. In both these cases, the first part of the exercise, the long part, was the part where we're actually moving the weight, the part where we're actually like in the dumbbell row, the part where we're pulling, in the hip thrust, the part where we're moving the weight up. In a push-up, we actually start from the top. So I'll go like this. Get this dumbbell out of the way. We actually start from the top. So the first part of the motion is going to be full away, like I just said. The first part is always full. Second part is half and then all the way to the top. So that differs from the rest of them because the first part of the movement all the way down was actually the lowering part of the mo movement, whereas with the dumbbell row and the hip thrust, it's actually the, the part where we move the weight and not kind of controlling the back of the start. So that's why I say, again, when I went like, you know, halfway through the video, I said the most important part, I'm gonna re repeat the most important part. The first part of the exercise is the long part of the range of motion, the second part is halfway through. So that applies to every time you get an exercise with a 1.5 rep. First part is the full way, second part is half, and then you're going back to the start. The reason why we do these, the reason why a 1.5 rep is nice is because the part that we're spending the most time is, so when I go through a dumbbell row and go to the top, the hardest part of that dumbbell row is actually as I get to the top. Um, so when I go back halfway and then come back, we're spending an increased amount of time at the hardest biomechanical part of the rep. So that's gonna make us stronger, it's gonna put more tension on the muscle when we're strongest. It's gonna, when you go back to normal reps, you're gonna feel stronger. It's like when I do the push-up, the bottom half of the exercise is the hardest part, it's not the top part. Um, when I do a hip thrust, the top part of the exercise is where all the work is happening, less is happening at the bottom. So what the 1.5 rep has a way of doing is it's always, accentuating the hardest part of the rep, but also the rep where you're typically the strongest. So it's all, it's just gonna end up making you um, stronger when you go back to normal reps.
If you have any trouble with that at all, let me know. Um, I don't have all kinds of videos to, of, of examples, but I, I'll be getting some up and maybe by this point I do. But um, if you have questions, shoot a video, let me know, or just even just uh, ask me and um, you know, go through it the way that you think it is and I'll confirm if you're right. But again, think of it this way. The first part of the exercise is the full range of motion, then you go to the half, and then you go back to the start.